I don't know why sexual abuse and sexual assault affects your self-worth so, so much. It makes it hard for you to look in the mirror and understand why you matter. My experience with sexual abuse led to a slew of physical and mental ailments. I had a lot of compulsive type disorders, eating disorders, compulsive skin picking. If I had a blemish anywhere on my body, I would, it would be really hard for me not to touch it or to deal with it or need to control it in some type of way. I just sat there and Larry would abuse me while I did nothing. Whereas many other abuse victims are made to feel like they're participants in their abuse. I think another thing that contributes to sexual abuse messing with your reality and some of the NASA victims touched on it. If you're being vaginally penetrated by a finger or genitalia, your body will respond and will lubricate itself. That's incredibly difficult for an abuse victim to get over because their body quote unquote liked it even though they mentally and emotionally did not want that touch. And I encourage every single abuse victim who has this struggle to pull out a picture of themselves at that age that they were abused or a picture of some other child at that age and ask yourself if you could look them in the eye and tell them you should have said no, you should have protected yourself. You won't be able to do it. I've received hundreds and hundreds of messages from abuse victims around the world saying things like, I've never told anyone, or I don't know what to do, I don't think anyone will care. I have my own story. I'm not ready to share and probably never will be, but I want to say that I'm proud of you for having a voice I don't have. We as a community and we as a society have so little resources for these people that they think their best chance to start on a path of healing is to reach out to me via Instagram. And that's just heartbreaking. That's just heartbreaking. Everybody heals at their own pace and in their own way. When I run, I just feel like I am free. I can run wherever I want. I can take that turn or I can not take that turn. I can go fast or I can walk. Spirituality, not linked to a religion, has really helped me. Whether it's through yoga, whether it's through breathing techniques, or just having an affirmation book where I at least have one positive thing to focus on that day, um, that has really helped me pull through. If I could talk to my six or 12 year old self now, I would tell her that her voice matters that her pain is real and that it matters, that she deserves to be happy, and that speaking her truth is important because it will help other people.